Hey guys, what's up? So I'm coming today with another video and today is Friday, May 21st. So this was originally the day that I was going to start the egg diet again. But as I got, I told you guys yesterday, I am going to be starting keto. I've been doing so much research on keto and my understanding of keto has completely changed from what I was thinking it was. I think the people that I used to watch um, doing keto focused a lot on the cheeses, maybe because that's what they liked in their diet. But there are so many other keto plans, keto advice out there that does not require me to have a lot of dairy. And thank you guys so much who have been giving me information, telling me different ways to start it, making it easier. And now I understand it's more focused on increasing fats, decreasing carbs, and having some protein in there. So the main thing is to have fats, which can be sourced from different things, not just dairy. But I did see there was, you know, yogurt, cheese, um, avocados, oils, things like that on the list, nuts. So I think it's gonna be a lot easier than I originally thought it was gonna be to be on keto. So that's a really great thing that there's a lot of information out there. But um, just seeing things like cauliflower rice, of course, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, um, chicken, steak, hamburgers, of course, without the bun, and seeing a lot of different things. And like I told you guys, the one that really grabbed me was the taco with the lettuce wrap or with just like the lettuce as it, but you can season it, everything like a normal taco, add the cheese and still keep it really, really good. So I think that's what I'm most interested in. So I'm excited to like start cooking for the keto diet as well. And to just get fancy with the food because it's gonna introduce me to a lot of food that I normally don't eat. So I wanna just try different things again. I love cauliflower rice like I told you guys. So I did see that you can have cauliflower rice. Um, you can have eggs, bacon, like bacon. You can have so many things, turkey, salmon, sardines. So things I already eat. The main thing that I'm getting rid of would be my starches. So my sweet potatoes that I love to eat all the time. Um, I wouldn't be having the sweet potatoes, but I would be able to have pretty much everything else I eat. It's really getting rid of that main thing. Um, no oats, which I usually eat every day but I can also have my coffee. I can have creamer with my coffee, um, usually heavy creamer, but it's okay to have like dairy creamer or almond milk creamer. So just knowing that you can have creamer is also in there. It's such a good thing, I think. There are a lot of YouTubers also that have a lot of information. Some of you guys shared a couple channels with me. I've also just been researching in general um, different people, like what they did and seeing that like people have lost so much weight on it. I've heard about it, like I said before, like the first time that I'm actually dedicating some time to researching keto and really figuring out what it was. Um, I think my idea of it was a little bit off after doing actual research and seeing that it's mostly just increasing the fats and I don't think I eat too many fats in general so it's going to be interesting to see but the fact that I have like olive oil that I can use like on my salad so it's not a lot of changes I have to do which means that I feel like I can succeed at this diet because if it was a big change in what I had to eat or things I don't like to eat, like on the military diet when they had cottage cheese, like things I just don't enjoy. I think it's a lot harder to do diets when it's food I don't enjoy or just not eating at all because I like to eat. So it's nice to see that you pretty much can do your normal things, still have your protein, still have your vegetables, still have your coffee and able to just cut out the carbs, which I've pretty much done anyway because I don't know, they don't make me feel well. I told you guys that. I don't know if it's like gluten intolerance is starting to get to me or something, but I do not feel the best when I'm eating a lot of gluten. And it's been a while since I've had those things. And um, I'm just finding alternative things that I like, such as for Mother's Day having the seafood boil, which did not have anything but potatoes in it. So I've just kind of switched out of the bread era the pasta era and i'm more into like the starches and more into like rice and i like those because they're whole foods and on the keto diet all i'm really doing is getting rid of my sweet potatoes which i can live without of course for
for a little while and um, trading it up for fats and figuring out the taste of avocado. I do feel like my taste buds have changed so much so it's going to be interesting to see how since my body has detoxed from very processed food how it takes to things such as avocados because before I just thought it tastes like nothing so I thought it was a waste but I will definitely see how it tastes. I know it has such great benefits. So what I'm trying to do right now is to make a plan for me for at least the first seven days and like I said I may have repeat days that I'm doing the same thing but make a plan that I can stick to with foods I enjoy such as chicken, salmon, the salads, I can keep the spring mitts I've been eating, having uh, avocado added in, some types of oils added in, just really figuring out what contains fat, full fat foods and adding that to my diet. I'm gonna stay away from the high dairy products, so like the yogurts and the cheeses, but every once in a while I think I will add those. I'm also gonna have eggs, of course, and really just make an actual plan, not just meal, not just food, make an actual plan. Like this is what breakfast is gonna look like, this is what lunch is gonna look like, and this is what dinner is gonna look like. Um, I think the only thing that right now I'm like, oh, it sucks because I just started to get into fruits and I did notice that on the list I did not see fruits. I'm guessing because of the sugars that are naturally produced in fruits. So I think that's gonna be harder for me to not eat the fruits. I usually buy a lot of fruits and it's like the sweet thing that I really enjoy throughout my day so I don't have those cravings for say like cookies or for candy. So that's I think where it's gonna be a little bit harder <laughs> for me to stay away from the candies and stuff but I am interested in seeing what else I can find to kind of fill that void. Like on the egg diet, the sweetness I would usually get from my oatmeal which was maybe brown sugar oatmeal or when I was eating it the first round, I think I ate the raisin date and walnut. So it had that sweet feel at the end of the day that I really liked, like the dessert feeling. And I didn't really see too many desserty type of foods besides yogurt in the keto diet. So that's all I have to really figure out is what desserts foods are gonna help me with my sweet tooth. That's one of the things that I really have to research, really have to find exactly what works for me. But I'm still overall really excited. I do think this is like life changing. It's something I never really thought I would do. And I'm just excited that I'm more open to trying things, challenging myself to really just see what works for me. And who knows, this could be the things that will help me for the long term because I've seen so many people with so many success stories. And it's exciting to get to this point and I hope you guys are ready for this journey. Um, if you guys have any meals that you like if you're on the keto diet definitely leave them in the comment section below. I want to try different things, different meals um, to see how I like them and yeah just let me know. I'm really really excited for this one and um, I'm just excited really for that taco. That like sounds really good. I heard that and I was like I, I think I could do that. I could do that for seven days in a row. <laughs> No problem eating a taco with the lettuce wrap. That sounds really nice. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post a video. I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you. Have an amazing day. You got this. We got this. I got this. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye.